Hi, Kindergarten Rock friends. It's Miss Amanda. I just wanted to say hello to you and that I miss you very much. I have some messages from all four of us, your Kindergarten Rock teachers, Miss Missy, Miss Lori, and Miss Jill, because we do miss seeing you on Sundays, and we hope that you are doing well. After those messages, I have my daughter, Allie, who, there she is. She's going to show you how to do an Easter craft, um, something we probably would have been doing together in the classroom in Trinity this coming Easter Sunday, but we thought maybe you would like to see how to do it at home too. So check back after our messages. We miss you and hope you're doing well. Happy Easter. Hi guys, Miss Lori here. I hope you guys are having fun and having plenty to do. Um, just wanted to wish you all a very happy Easter and we will see you soon. Bye. Hi kids, hope you have a happy Easter. Miss you guys. Hi kindergarten friends. I miss seeing your smiling faces on Sunday mornings, but I hope you are having a wonderful time with your families. I wish you a happy Easter and stay safe and healthy. Hello again, kindergarten rock friends. As I said earlier in this video message, we wanted to show a craft that you could possibly do at home. So this is what it looks like for today. It is an Easter sunrise and it uses paint, um, construction paper, and just a marker. So if you have those items in your house, it's okay if you don't have the same exact color of paints, just use whatever you have. And if you don't have yellow construction paper, you can just use regular paper and then get a yellow crayon and color it in with a yellow crayon. That works just fine too. But the yellow is actually representing the sun. So you're gonna trace out your hand and use that as the sun. And then all of the colors behind it are the sunrise colors and then the green grass too. So I'm gonna have Allie take over now and she's gonna take you step by step of how you can make this Easter craft. There you go, Allie. Okay, so first you're gonna need um, a paper plate. And first we're going to start with the grass. And first you are going to make a line through the middle like that, and then you're just going to color it in. But remember, before we do that, we have to get a piece of construction paper, and we have to cut out our hand. I already did that step. And then we're going to go back to the grass, and... Okay, now I'm done. So, now we are going to paint the sky. And it, it almost looks like an arch. So, in the final product, you can see it's not following the rainbow colors. So, it almost, so it's, I did purple, then pink, and that's not the rainbow one. So, you can use whatever you have at home. And then, yeah, so you are going to paint the sky, and it's going to look like an arch. And this is what I have, and it looks like an arch, and it's not following the way rainbow way. Then we're going to go back to a hand that we cut up before, and you are going to put it close to the bottom so that you can still see the sunset. Like, so you can still see the colors in the back. The sunrise. The sunrise. And then you are going to glue it on. You can use a glue stick. And then you will draw, with a black marker, you are going to draw a cross. And if you want, you can color it in. And then after you've done that, this is what it looks like. And now we are going to... Right, he is risen on the top. Or you can write it on the bottom. I'm going to write it on the bottom. He is R I S E N. 
And this is the final product. Thank you for watching.